Hi there, this is Srikanth Dasari. So in this session, we are going to learn about uh, the various uh, the bit manipulation uh, operators in C++ or else you can say it as uh, bit based operators in C++. So there are, uh, uh, so first let me launch the IDE. So as we know that we are using uh, uh, Visual Studio 2012 Express for Windows desktop. So already I have created a project under the name uh, uh, bit operators here. So it consists of all the basic stuff like the header files and main and nothing more excited here. So first let us see uh, what are the various uh, bit based operators in C++ or C or any other programming language. So they are as follows. The first one is um, bit AND, bit OR, bit complement or you can say a negation, bitwise XOR, <coughs> it's represented by a uh, cap symbol, right? so bitwise uh, XOR operator uh, and uh, uh, bitwise shift operators, we have uh, bitwise left shift and bitwise right shift here, okay. So all these uh, uh, bitwise operators uh, are very uh, low level uh, uh, operations, we can perform very low level operations if you take two uh, different values, uh, you can uh, manipulate the individual bits using these uh, bitwise operators here. Okay, so that's the reason they are called as uh, uh, bit manipulation operators also. So you can perform uh, uh, some sort of operation uh, uh, stored in those uh, uh, binary values, binary representation of that particular uh, uh, decimal uh, value. Okay, so first let us take uh, uh, two uh, integer variables. So let's say where one and I where two okay so also let's take a bunch of variables to represent uh, each and every uh, operation so let's say uh, bitwise and bitwise or bitwise not uh, bitwise xor let's say bitwise xor uh, let's say bitwise right shift bitwise left shift okay so uh, I have taken uh, different variables to represent uh, all the different uh, 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 operations here. Okay, so first let us take the input from the user. Uh, let's take and see what statement here. So let's say, so I'm just grabbing the input for those two integer variables. Enter the value for i where one. So enter the value for i where one, and let's say scene. Uh, so i where two. Co uh, slash and slash t so enter the enter the value for uh, i where 2 okay so instead of just giving directly uh, signing the values directly I am just grabbing the input from the user within the uh, scene statements see what in scene statements so first let us perform this uh, bitwise and operation on the two integer variables so let's say i where 1 and I'm just building in a uh, bitwise expression using this bitwise, of bitwise operators. So I were one and I were two. Okay. So again, let's print out the result. Uh, let's do it in a different way here. Slash n and slash t. And let's say uh, so I were one. And uh, uh, using this and operation, uh, I and I were two. Okay. Uh, let's say is equal to okay uh, let's use this b and operate here. okay so now uh, I have misspelled here so I bad one okay. so let's run this tiny little program uh, let's see what happens here so it got an error here I uh, think I bear one and I bear two b and so what is the error? I were one. Okay, we have taken I were two. Let's run once again. It's complaining about uh, uninitialized the local uh, variable. Uh, <laughs> we have used both the times as I were two on here. Okay. So now we run this uh, small program. Uh, it asks for both I were one and I were two. So you get uh, the result as zero. Okay. So understand this well. Let's take the help of the internet and go to our uh, uh, one good resource here. Okay. So here uh, I'm, I'm just opening a resource uh, which I found very helpful. 
which consists of all the uh, truth tables of all the uh, exclusive uh, logic gates okay so here you have uh, uh, logical or and logical and here okay so bitwise and operation uh, co corresponds uh, this uh, uh, gate here okay so this logical and here or else directly you can go to google and you can say something like this so logical and operation so logical and operation if you say uh, go to uh, go to images directly so you get the just a true table here okay so it's only true uh, when both the uh, operands uh, and both the uh, uh, representing uh, uh, binary digits are true here okay so if you come back to your id uh, here we have taken the values as one and two if you remember when you ran the program so for that corresponding one uh, the binary uh, representation is triple zero and one and also uh, for two it's going to be uh, zero zero and one zero here okay so this is the binary representation so now if you perform uh, this AND operation on this both these two uh, digits here, uh, the phrase AND operation. So according to our, uh, if you go back to your Chrome once again, uh, uh, it's only true when both are true here, okay. So now if you observe here, uh, so that condition uh, never happens here, okay. So if you observe both the uh, binary represented values here, it's never, it's never becomes true since all the, so all the time we check, we get, uh, the different representations here for that reason we get uh, all zeros so which is literally uh, equal to zero in decimal representation so now for that reason uh, if you run this program once again and if you give those two values so the, for that reason you are getting the value of uh, the this bitwise and operation as zero okay so in the same way uh, there is also another uh, good resource go to your google is your friend so program is Bitwise operators. Okay. So to go to this particular site, uh, it's also a great resource uh, for uh, uh, learning about the bitwise operators. So here you have uh, a whole lot of operators and a bunch of examples here, bunch of examples. Okay. So we go back to your uh, IDE. So in the same way, if you perform uh, uh, the bitwise OR operation on your uh, uh, corresponding uh, variables uh, let's say have this pipe symbol and i have two let's copy the entire uh, uh, c1 statement uh, once again and let's change this minor uh, changes uh, let's do it or and let's change it to uh, the or okay save this program and run it once again so now if we give uh, different values so you get uh, the or operation as three here okay so the reason we have got that is, so if you check out uh, once again, uh, go back to your Google once again. So that is your friend. If you type uh, logical or uh, truth table, so whatever you wanted. So just I'm lazy enough, uh, truth table. Okay, so truth table, you go to images directly. So here you get, uh, so all the different uh, truth tables or else you can take uh, uh, the different one. That's very clear. It's a logical or, so this is a true table for logical or, okay. So let's type it uh, more specific. Uh, it's logical or operation. Okay. So if you go back to your uh, uh, Google logical or operation on binary numbers okay <laughs> so if you do something like this you get uh, so here okay so whatever uh, it's true or false you can also take it as uh, true, or, true or false also uh, like both are uh, uh, false it's false or else it's true so logical of binary numbers, or let's say it's logical or so on binary numbers here. So not getting the exact thing. Excuse your you are getting, but uh, Okay, so you can take anything here, okay. 
So if both are uh, false, uh, it's false. Okay, so that's the underlying logic uh, behind this uh, logical option number here. So if you visit this page, so if you observe this true table, both are false. You can take the false symbol as uh, uh, zero here, uh, zero uh, binary uh, number. So for other all cases, it will be true. So if you come back to your uh, IDE and you, you just take that uh, same example as we have taken previously. So if you perform uh, uh, this OR operation on that uh, particular digits, so you get uh, uh, the first two, if you observe the first two uh, binary numbers uh, when represented uh, in decimal in binary, so they are uh, uh, both are false, then in that cases, uh, then it uh, occurs as false. In other all cases, uh, it will be true. So that is literally equal to three. So for this reason, uh, if you run this program once again, <coughs> So if you give two different values, uh, so like one and two, so you are getting this uh, as logical uh, or as three. Okay. <coughs> so in the same way, so let's perform a, a v naught operation. Uh, let's say uh, so v naught on i where one here. Okay. So I have just uh, taken the symbol uh, used to represent uh, this negation or uh, inverse uh, not operator is this inverse symbol negation symbol. So you can have a semicolon here. Let's let me write the steward statement once again. So just to print the result, whatever the result occurs here. Okay. So let's say uh, B naught. Okay. So if we run this uh, small program, uh, if you give your uh, values one and two, so you get here minus one. Okay. So you might wonder, uh, but that is not exactly uh, complement uh, complementing here. So if you want to perform uh, uh, logical uh, inverse or uh, a complement on one, so in uh, uh, when you are when you are coming to the computing environment, it's represented as two's complement. Okay, so internally uh, that is taken as like this, uh, like uh, minus of n uh, plus one. So here n is a binary representation of the, of the particular uh, decimal digit uh, we have taken here. So that in turn uh, represents as uh, minus zero zero one. Uh, plus one, so that gives you the result as minus two. Okay, so for that reason, uh, you're getting a, a one if you give one, and, and if you perform the uh, complement operation, it's representing uh, that particular value in two's complement representation. Okay, so it does not give directly uh, the inverse in the inverse the value of your uh, uh, decimal digits represented in binary numbers. Here. Okay. So that represents uh, it in internally as two's complement according to our system. Okay. So in the same way, we have uh, uh, bitwise uh, shift operators uh, and bitwise uh, right shift and bitwise left shift. So let's perform that then. <coughs> so here we have taken a variable via uh, via shift here. So let's say that uh, let's take i where one. So we have misspelled here via shift. So I bear one. Let's perform uh, left shift by two uh, digits here, and let's see what happens to our uh, result. And let's see out the statement. Uh, let's say slash and slash t. Mm. Okay. No slash and extra here, and let's say so we are shift. Okay, to make it simple. So if you uh, give your uh, values one and two. So you get here four. Here. Okay. So that uh, what happens here is uh, that uh, particular uh, number get shifted uh, a couple of times uh, towards its left here. Okay. So what happens to this result here is if you go to go back to your uh, uh, it happens something like this here. Okay. So if you take in uh, here you have taken uh, one uh, which is represented in binary. Let's keep it in comment here. One is represented in binary digits as a couple of zeros. So if you represent uh, that uh, a couple of times, uh, one and two and three, so one, two, four, most uh, a couple of times, uh, like uh, if one gets added, uh, it becomes something like this, okay. So zero, one, zero, zero, so which is literally equal to four, okay. So if you perform uh, uh, the bitwise uh, left shift operation, sorry, we, here we have, uh, uh, Taken, uh, sorry, so it's bitwise left shift operation uh, since we have moved the uh, bits to uh, left shift here. So now, if you want to perform uh, uh, bitwise right shift, so let's take the variable uh, the bitwise br shift here. 
then let's take uh, either two which is um, and perform at twice here so what happens if you observe let's print out uh, the, using the CO statement so bitwise shifting is nothing but uh, the shifting the individual bits uh, towards the left side uh, or towards the right side here okay <coughs> so slash in and slash in and slash t and let's uh, uh, use this real shift okay so real shift here okay so now uh, if you run this uh, small program and if you observe the result let's give some values to both of them either one and either two so you get the same uh, result here okay <laughs> the reason is we have taken the br shift uh, so here we have to take the br shift here okay so br shift sorry so br shift and we have also the output the different value uh, the br shift here so run the program and now if you uh, do the values you get zero here okay so the reason you are getting uh, uh, the right shift operation as zero here because you see since we have taken two uh, for the value of uh, either 2, so which is represented in uh, decimal digits as something like this. So now it turns, uh, if you do this operation a couple of times, uh, or if you add uh, consecutive zeros, uh, so finally that becomes the overall as 0. Okay, so that's the one gets lost and overflow is uh, ignored in our uh, uh, bitwise uh, manipulated operations here. Okay. So the overflow has no value uh, here uh, that is uh, ignored here so for that reason uh, you are getting a zero here so if you give more complex values uh, to your results let's say minus five and if you say uh, three so you get all the different uh, so all the different uh, zeros here okay so minus five is internally represented as uh, 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 if you perform uh, uh, the bitwise uh, negation operator uh, it's represented as uh, uh, okay so let's write uh, since we are getting confusion here uh, let's write clearly uh, let's say uh, bitwise not is equal to okay so bitwise not is equal to on either two okay and let's also say that uh, here let's have a comment bitwise so let's say bitwise uh, left shift. Okay, bitwise left shift is equal to, and also let's say so bitwise for right shift. Bitwise right shift is equal to. Okay, so now run your program. So you get a whole lot of different values. Okay, so left shift of iware one, left shift of iware one gives you. Uh, Eight as a result. Okay, since you have to uh, move that two to couple of uh, digits uh, away, the left side, so you get eight. So if you perform a, a left shift operation on this either two variable, so you get zero. Since you get uh, the overflow uh, neglected in the shift operations here. Okay, so this is the basic stuff about uh, the various uh, bitwise operators uh, in C++. Uh, so see you in the next session. Goodbye.